hello guys uh, welcome to my channel once again uh, in my previous video I've introduced you to cryptocurrency I've told you the types of cryptocurrency I've showed you the uh, how you can sign up for wallets and how you can get your first cryptocurrency to your wallet so today now because you've known so much about cryptocurrency I must also show you how to avoid losing your money in cryptocurrency and the first way is to avoid different kind of uh, rampant scam in cryptocurrency so i've combined a list of uh, top cryptocurrency scams that people are very familiar with or they are very common although they are more than that if you go to this article on my website online nsup.com you see getting started in crypto scams to avoid so i highlighted the top seven crypto scams that are very common and below it you see other kind of uh related scams that you can also read about so anytime when you come out about such kind of information online so you know how to avoid it so i'm going to be talking about the seven main uh, uh type of scam so the first type of scam uh, that is very common in cryptocurrency is ICO scam. Uh, in one of my video while I was talking about different types of uh, cryptocurrency and I made mention of uh, tokens which are very easy to you know kind of create them because uh, once uh, a coin can perform the smart contract function then it's easy for anybody with is a little knowledge in uh, blockchain development or smart contract development to easily create a token of its own and then sell to the public so most times because of this uh, ease in getting cryptocurrency created some projects have come about you know some people have come about you know creating fake projects uh, in the name of cryptocurrency so they build uh, tokens under Ethereum network or it could be under platform so they 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 launch the platform and you know promising people that okay we are launching a platform for uh uh for talent on or we are launching a platform for soccer some kind of say they want to launch a platform for uh football and all that uh the thing is that it's not a bad idea that for the project that they propose to launch it's not actually a bad idea because if uh, uh a serious person or a serious company like uh take took over that such kind of projects they might ac actually achieve something nice with such project but the the most thing about these people is that their intentions about projects are not uh are not true because one thing about uh, uh a difference between scam and uh, a legitimate project is the intention sometimes it's not that because the scam doesn't have a very good uh white paper or documentation or a very project a very good project plan but their intention behind the project is to actually scam you because they know that their their documentations and their proposed plan can actually win you over and that's enough for them to raise the kind of money that they needed to 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 collect and run away you know but uh so most things the best way to, you can actually figure out and find them out most times is to you know uh, research about their their development team uh, the, the first of all the team members of that project if you can actually download their picture and go to google.com uh, image search you just search image search so image search uh, uh, let me see if it's uh, image image.google.com so this uh, google platform that lets you search uh, pictures of someone online if the person is actually real or not so you can just download pictures of any of the team member and upload it here then search on google then google will show you uh different uh places where the pictures have been uploaded so this way you can know if the picture was downloaded from uh a, a dating site or someone else profile and then renamed to another name so you can see they can actually download picture of Mark Zuckerberg and name him uh uh Sin Jun Chan or they name him <laughs> they name him uh, uh Michael Scott or something like that they can actually uh, download a picture of a black man and give him another name 
you can actually de download picture of a nigerian guy and even another name so the, the thing is actually that in crypto space most people don't actually uh, care about your color sometimes uh, they just care about the idea that you want to offer so they most time they will just uh, arrange this team and mix them up with different races and it could also be just one race you get but most times they actually pretend to be chinese because uh, there was a time in crypto i think in 2018 that people always believe that uh, chinese projects actually you know uh, end up being a very good uh, investment because of their population and all that so they have a lot of people to pump in, mo in money into it and most people also have the idea that uh China, uh, most wheels are Chinese, so any project that they are promoting will be successful. So, which, uh, which, uh, which actually gives people the, 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 I would say ginger or the hype about the project, and they want to participate in it. But meanwhile, it's it could be uh, an American guy scamming people behind the project, it could be a, an African guy scamming people behind the project, it could be an Indian guy, you guess. But they just change the picture to make the project look actually good. The second thing is that uh, their white paper, you see, to, uh, you may see too much grammatical blunders and so many things that doesn't add up, so many statements that doesn't look like uh, like uh, a professional write up, you get. So most of these people that come about this project, some of them can be amateur and they will not want to uh, hire experts, uh, blockchain writers to write for them. So let's say even if they even get a, a, an expert writer to write for them, you should, they, there are still some things that you, you figure out about the project that doesn't add up. Uh, so another thing is that uh, uh, they actually, you know, they can actually get someone with an influence and pay them to actually promote the project for them. That's why sometimes you can't actually trust uh, just the opinion of one YouTuber about a the project. Then go and put your money in that project. You have to be able to uh, listen to different opinions of different uh, YouTubers to know if the project is actually worth putting your money into. And that thing is to look at their roadmap. Uh, to look at their roadmap. If their roadmap looks feasible and... Uh, 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 what they plan for their project, how the timing is, and that thing also is to look at the funds they intend to raise. If it's if that is that is it, it is too much or it is too little to you know carry out their pro their proposed plan for the for the project. So this way you are able to know uh, that if they are just joking about the project or this is a project that the developers truly mean it. So there's also another platform that you can actually go to. It's called uh, Bitcoin Talk. Bitcoin Talk is actually uh, a community of uh, a crypto enthusiasts, uh, or you'll find a lot of uh, professionals. BitcoinTalk.org, not .com. So you find uh, discussions. There's a Bitcoin discussion, development and technical discussions mining technical support marketplace trade and discussion so you find uh, uh, a list of discussions here so you can search for the project and search scam or search bitcoin talk so it will bring you to any article about the project where people have you know actually call it out for being scam so you can read their reviews about the project and you know know how to stay away from such projects so like I said, you can also go to, you know, go to Google and type the name of the project. Let's say uh, uh, one coin scam. So, so you can actually read any article that says the saga of one coin, four billion cryptocurrency scam. So you can read it all along and to be able to know so you can stay away from such projects. But uh, uh, despite so many ICO scam, they are also still legitimate uh, ICO. The thing is just up to you to make your research, uh, check one or two or three, four, five opinions about the ICO, uh, look up the team online and see if they are actually real. Look up forums talking about them. Look up, look for review channels, you know, uh, giving uh, details about them, if it's actually a good uh, investment or not, like ICO Bench, ICO Drops. There are some websites that you can use to, you know, check listing of ICO projects. And some may not even list on those platforms because most of those platforms also, you also pay to actually list your token on them. So 
it's a bit kind of uh bias review sometimes so you, you just have to make it use your discretion when investing into those projects so if your instinct is wrong about the project then you should try and stay away from that project if they are not offering any solid products that is reasonable you stay out of that project so next scam i want to talk about in order to avoid wasting so much time on this video so i want to move on to the next uh scam which is buying and selling scam uh the buying and selling scam is very rampant in telegram groups is rampant in whatsapp group is even rampant on facebook anywhere anywhere that has a community or where people can just comment and you know you will see a lot of people commenting i'm buying bitcoin for 370 i'm selling bitcoin for uh this and that so you should try and avoid or be very careful about this kind of sellers online that you just don't know and they just post adverts and the best way most time they used to catch uh, they are pre by offering even lesser price than the market price or very cheap price and you knew that you know you are looking to buy bitcoin and uh, you'll be like ah this bitcoin is very cheap oh let me quickly you know buy from him and send money to him and then when you send money he blocks you and your money is gone so you should try and avoid this kind of people because uh, anybody that wants to anybody that wants to uh to purchase Uh, hold on a little bit uh, so like I was saying anybody that uh, uh, actually offered to sell Bitcoin for you at a very very cheaper rate or at or buying it from you at a very very expensive rate should give you a reason to be curious you want to ask them for a video call ask them for a valid ID card you know and also make sure that the accounts they are giving you to send payment to tallies with their uh, ID card information so this way, if anything happens, you can actually report them to the authorities, their banking information to the authorities, and they can get, you know, uh, uh, arrested for it or get investigated. But in order not to waste your time on this, uh, on the long process of trying to find someone who scam you, uh, it's better to just find a legitimate website like Remitano, Abitrade, Luno to actually buy and sell your cryptocurrency on there. So, uh, so you so that you avoid you know getting scam uh, numerous times. But you can also sell to someone that you know that is highly recommended or a, a person of importance in the public, like Bitcoin chief or someone that you know that it's, it's very very reputable and 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 they can't scam you. You get. But uh, as for me, there is very little people that I can trust. So most times when I want to buy, I make use of uh, escrow websites or. A website that are, that can actually automate the process for you and just sell your Bitcoin and you receive it in your bank and you don't have to sell to uh, individuals so the next uh, phase of scam I want to go to is mining scam uh, a lot of people uh, I have I've seen a lot of uh, promotion or people coming to ask me like uh is there anything like uh mining uh actually there's a uh, there's bitcoin money because cryptocurrency can be mined doesn't mean that everybody can actually go into mining it because uh mining is not a very cheap uh business it's not something that everybody can just you know venture into it requires uh a lot of resources uh electric electricity and and uh and computer devices that are used to carry out the process uh, most miners are actually a registered company and you actually be able to you know verify them on the blockchain network so let me actually go to blockchain.com so that you can have an idea of of what uh mining is blockchain.com Because uh, a lot of people will like, okay, they offer mining service and you have to, you know, invest your money with them and then they can pay you maybe 10% every month, 30% uh, every month, 50% uh, every month and all that. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to go to the Explorer. Uh, so you go to blockchain.com and come to bitcoin explorer so on the bitcoin explorer you see list of uh miners that are, are allowed to 
to mine uh bitcoin or mine uh any cryptocurrency so you see the mining pools that you know that are responsible for the for the crypto transaction that happens to 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 to, to be carried out on your on your blockchain so you can see bct.com pulling unknown f2p uh this kind of unknown now we don't know the kind of miner is but instead of you know just investing blind it's better to avoid such kind of uh, uh miner and most times all these people most times they are not looking for uh chicken change or small amounts that you just put maybe hundred dollars or fifty dollars to actually mine with them I, I think actually they they prefer to you know uh have a business to do with uh, uh large uh business uh business companies that will, that will, that will put in bigger funds in their in their business than uh, than an average individual coming to you know donate small small amount for them to set up the mining pool so uh, i don't think uh mining is for any any uh actual uh, is individual or smaller person with small amount that wants to you you know just invest money and and, and get 10 percent of which mining mining will not mining doesn't guarantee you a fixed amount of money on your return because uh the value of cryptocurrency fluctuates and the amount the the miner will realize uh, uh this month or in three months might not even be as much to pay you that percent you get so most times uh uh huge returns on on money is a very a very big red, red flag that you have to avoid when uh dealing with cryptocurrency any project that is offering you uh exorbitant uh returns and there is no genuine genuine proof of how the money is being made then you should be able to to be curious about such projects and also like i always say you have got go on youtube for your research always research about the the projects uh, you can just search uh, put a quotation on in the in in in, in the pro on the project let's say you want to search uh uh btc dot com pool scam so you put a quote before and after the sentence then you can search on google or you can go to youtube and search so there will be reviews and different topics on it and you can just watch to be sure if such projects exist or not but in my for in, on my in my own opinion i don't think that mining is something that you know that a lot of miners made public and they just create a website for you to start you know uh, contributing money for them to 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 mine cryptocurrency for you or or all or, or that because the intention of most of these scammers is that they are actually mining cryptocurrency for you so the money that you contributed is is being multiplied or is being used to mine cryptocurrency for you and a return is being paid so i'll just tell you that when you see something like that just try and you know and run for your dear life so another way that uh, another popular scam in cryptocurrency are ponzi scam I think most people are familiar with this. Uh, the MMM, the Get Up Worldwide, uh, the uh, MMM United, and so many other uh, Ponzi that I might have have used uh, have, have been used to MMM China. So Ponzi schemes are actually like pyramid schemes. Uh, they also call themselves peer to peer, whereby uh, you are you are asked to you know donate a money and wait after thirty days to get uh, thirty percent returns on that money or 100 percent returns or 50 percent returns on that money and it could and it could also be 50 days could be 10 days different different ponzi schemes have different uh time schedule for how they strategize their scam to be so the the earlier the 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 days the faster such cryptocurrency projects crash as well uh uh, uh like just like uh mmm nigeria now there was a time mmm nigeria started and it lasted like one year you get and that's because the they offer 30 percent which is quite very low and then there are a lot of people that are into uh mmm nigeria back then so sometimes this po po uh, ponzi schemes they last very long because they have a large number of crowds behind them and you know the money keeps flowing in but the moment they they start losing crowd or they start you know paying too much out and you know the guiders are also taking money out and at the end of the day there's no there's lesser of fewer people joining the program you know their secrets starts you know coming out you, you, they, they start getting exposed and the the whole system start collapsing so most of the sponsors came they have used uh cryptocurrency as a means of payments you get 
whereby you have to send bitcoin to some some other receiver out there and then you have to uh uh wait to get some returns after some speculated period of time and most times uh this bitcoin the first set of people to receive the payment are always the scammers behind the project the admins of those projects so when when everybody first joined the platform and you ask to send payments they may actually you know have given you their wallet address and then you make payments to them so in, in, in this in the other sense they actually first pay the first receiver to you know give you some kind of confidence that it's actually a working platform then uh, when you when you get payment it's expected expected of you to you know go and give testimonies out that oh this platform is paying and you know i just got paid i just did this and all that so other people can join and then you know it becomes a party and you know they start making money they, they start creating multiple accounts for themselves and you know without even donating so you just come and give the money to the admin and then uh, after some time they pay you back then you you get used to the platform and start you know enjoying the money until all of a sudden you put in a big amount and they you know run cut away with your money so that's uh how uh, how and that kind of scam which is ponzi scam and you, and a lot of you are already familiar with it apart from using naira they have used bitcoin they've used ethereum you know to cut away the people's money and so it's quite easier for them even with uh, uh with, with naira and with bitcoin and because they they actually claim not to operate a, a central account by asking other people to receive money on their behalf why those people will also send money back to some of their accounts you know when they ask you to send money to like five different people out of those five different people one of them can be the admin's account so if you send 10k to the admin's account and that person was given five people to pay he sends under 20k to the admin's account before you know it like 1000 people have sent 10k to the admin's account and then that's how uh then uh, that's how they keep uh extorting money till you know they the, there is no money enough to go around again and then they cut away with your money so that's uh number four the ponzi scam there's also mlm scam which is uh uh, uh almost similar to ponzi so it's also under uh, the category of pyramid scheme mmm scam mlm scam they ask you to you know invite two people to to get a promotion to under stage so when you join the platform they will be like uh this uh this is a legendary project some of them even go as i as much to register the company the business and they attach one product to it like swiss gold they will tell you that they are importing gold or they are investing in gold in dubai and all that meanwhile there is no gold anywhere it's just all all pre-planned it's also it was all planned and all drafted well so that they know that you can actually not ask them to go to dubai and go and bring gold and even if they are going to show you probably they'll just buy a few gold and you know show it all around anytime that you want to uh they want to you know actually prove to you that uh, they're actually investing in something so the the idea is that they ask uh when you join the platform they, they tell you that okay there's someone that brought you in to get promoted to one stage then before you can also get promoted you have to you know bring in another uh person to the to the platform so for example of the ones that use uh uh cryptocurrency was uh zafond uh, zafond was not even using any uh uh product at all they were not even using gold the idea was just that it's a it's a it's it's a multi-level uh money making scheme that you just have to you know tell other people about the platform you bring in uh 25 dollars and that person brings in 25 dollars and they pay 50 dollars to the to their leader you know, the person at the at the top of the chain and uh, why that person will pay uh let's say for 40 dollars out of 50 dollars uh to the person above him it takes away 10 dollars and whenever anytime you you also graduated you go to the next thing and start receiving payment like that why those people at the top will be paying to the admin of that platform so at the end of the day the admin gets uh, uh they may say okay the money that the total money that you you receive at the end of the day is probably one million dollars so you'll be excited like uh i'll soon be rich i'll soon be a millionaire you get but the whole system is designed that such a way that before you can even get to the final stage the admins 
of those platforms that first receive one million naira, and you'll be stuck in the in the midway because there will be lesser people joining the platform, and also there's no there's no way for it to climb up again, and you have already donated your money to the person above you, while the person above you have already donated the money to the admin, so you are all stuck along the way, and you can't you know proceed further because there is no product or anything to you know generate income for that project aside for people bringing in money and taking money out so uh such kind of skin when you see them you, you should learn out you should learn to quickly avoid them example of it are uh, uh, zafon like i mentioned there is a uh, ethereum million money so ethereum million money even went for that to actually create uh, their projects on on a smart contract on Ethereum network, like like I said earlier that uh, uh, some some cryptocurrency altcoins they allow you to create smart contract to run applications under them. So this application is not only limited to you know creation of tokens, it's also limited to creation of platforms. You can actually create games, create platform. So the out of those platform is one of uh, one which the scammers have taken advantage of and they've used it to create uh, a, a an MLM uh, prototype which allows people to actually you know send money from their wallets without even having to you know uh, uh, perform so much uh, stress or so much duty they just have to you know activate it through their through the website or through the smart contract so it deducts the Ethereum to them and when another person joins the 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 smart contract calculates the Ethereum and pay to the person above him so everything is still designed in an MLM scheme that you have to bring in to people to to reward to people to for you to move on to the next stage and then when there is no, nobody joining again or when it's time for the admins to pull the plug then the whole system collapse and then you are left dumbfounded and waiting for uh, money to come to you why there's no money anyway so let's move on to the next the next one is uh, affiliate marketing scam this one is also similar to referral stuff and all that the the only difference is that uh, this they actually you know pretend to be uh, one uh, advertisers or marketers for for big companies so they actually tell you to invest let's say ten dollar twenty dollars into uh, adverts that you'll be sharing on your Facebook so they ask you that okay you share let's say you share to two adverts every day to your to your Facebook uh, every day like uh, as a form of task so if in your mindset you are actually performing a duty you get for them but actually those uh, links and those social media links that you are sharing they actually don't most of them don't exist or no company actually give them the rights to to actually promote them they just use it as a camouflage so that you can think they have something they are actually promoting which they don't actually have so you think you're actually running an affiliate marketing meanwhile you are just wasting your time and you know giving your money to scammers thinking that you you are running a product for them so but if you are uh, uh, the early days when they started a lot of people believe in it like this is actually you know something good it's just similar to pay to click uh pay to kick surveys that i started in early i think uh 2011 2008 there about the times of liberty reserve and the likes of them so uh those play to kick survey because uh people are actually looking for ways to make money at home so this uh this pay to click service they will actually you know uh generate uh websites where they can they can make revenue just by people clicking or visiting their website off so they by each time you access their website and you carry out some duties they, they will be paid but you are in the other side you will not be paid at the end of the day you figure out that you are wasting your time that you just you know help them in generating traffic for their website so it's a similar uh, system that was adopted to this affiliate marketing that the only difference now is that they attach a fee instead of the uh, pay to click survey so before you join to participate in the affiliate marketing you have to pay uh probably a registration fee just to be like a member they, they can actually call it a membership fee you get so that it will look like a contract or or something like you you, you bought an ad so to them now they make you feel like you bought an advert uh advert so if you pay more you can actually get more so the kind of uh subscription that you did will give you the kind of 
uh, as that that you'll be posting so the better your subscription the better the earnings you will generate from your adverts so that's the way the system is drafted so when you send them money they give you adverts to post and at the end of the day they are the one collecting the money there is no actually any adverts to promote so after a while you see that they are not able to pay you anymore so they will pay you for a while they will like they will, they will pay you some change if you actually pay let's say you pay twenty dollars to subscribe they can be paying you let's say five dollars five dollars per month so they expected that probably for like four months or it will take you three months to actually make uh your capital back or or you or then in the next month you make double of your capital so in in the real sense before before you even make your capital back they've you know cut it away with your money and then you are left with nothing and uh, number seven is uh fake coins fake coins uh, uh uh i don't know if a lot of you are already existing during the time of uh tbc there's a particular coin called tbc uh the billion coin so uh, what tbc actually do is that they they took advantage of the of the cryptocurrency era the bitcoin hype and all that so uh just the similar way as coins came about being an alternative cryptocurrency to bitcoin uh the billion coin also came and you know it, it said okay uh bitcoin was selling for a pizza blah 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 and they to the one to create uh the billion coin so uh the billion coin will on, always grow in value it will never fluctuate or it will never drop in price so they created the billion coin and even went as further uh, went further to create uh a, a a a block explorer for it but there are something you know something very fishy about the block explorer because you can't actually you know read so much details about it you can just actually see uh uh figures like you can actually f see figures uh, or you see transaction but you see no there's no mining pool there is no uh uh there's no mining pool there's no too much details on how a blockchain should look like you get so you figure out that few things are not right compared to the normal bitcoin blockchain so everything looks so odd and secondly is that uh cryptocurrency every cryptocurrency aside stable coins are, are, are tend to fluctuate in price based on the the law of demand and supply so uh the billion coin on the other hand is said to grow grow in value and never drop in value so, and so which, which is very weird because there is no actually any economics behind it so how do you buy something that doesn't you know uh, fluctuate in value the only thing that doesn't fluctuate in value is real estate you get and it doesn't even grow as as fast as a uh, cryptocurrency does so you get uh, so for you to call something cryptocurrency or for you to call it uh, a currency you should it should be able to show some uh, characteristics of, of currency which which is part of a uh, law of demand and supply which uh, tbc lacks the block explorer is very uh is very work and it carries you not know, too much uh information of a of a of a, of a legitimate crypto pro, uh, crypto project another thing is that uh anytime you want to buy tbc instead of you to buy it from exchange from other people like you you can't actually buy tbc from an exchange you have to you know uh you first buy first of all buy it from the the admins on the website most times then uh you have to then later on they start allowing their members to sell it to the new uh uh, uh new commerce so the, th the waiting about uh, tbc was that you are not able to even sell it to sell it back after buying it so it's very difficult for you to actually sell it so you have to start looking for people to buy the tbc from your own hand either by increasing the price and promising them that it will uh it will grow it will grow over time so there's a way that they drafted the website that they show you that the, this will be the price in in few months time this will be the price in in some years time and all that so you'll be excited that okay if i buy it today before it gets to that time it should have gained value and i can sell it at this amount to another person so all different kind of false promises and then at the end of the day the end of this scam and that one was uh, one coin which was which was uh created by one woman uh let me search it for you yeah. one coin
See, the saga of one coin, four billion dollars scam. So they actually made four billion dollars from this scam, right? Because it was very, it's a very new era, and a lot of people are not uh, don't have much idea of cryptocurrency, and they fell for it. As far as cryptocurrency scam goes, one coin is probably the one that rules them all. U.S. prosecutor are alleged that the Ponzi scheme ranked in almost four billion dollars. The front vessel from all over the globe. In China alone, law enforcement agents recovered 1.7 billion yuan. And uh, what is one coin was launched by Agno Tova Bulgaria National, according to a link with a law graduate and former Minkinzi explorer. It's claimed to work like any other cryptocurrency, whose coins are generated through mining and can then be used to make global payments. The coin also came with a currency wallet, and it's estimated that a total 120 billion coins will be available to on all. Organizers sold education material, including promotions and discounted packets to network participants. Educational courses. How it claimed to work. Coins are obtained through mining. One coin operates as a central network, which organized allegedly took care of all the technical aspects. An explainer video uploaded to YouTube claimed it was a safe platform for innovation to change the financial system. It also claimed that the cryptocurrency are there to know your customer rules to prevent money laundering. Additionally, the video alleged one coin was the Cryptocurrency with monthly audits of its blockchain. So there's this one of the things that actually you know uh, raise eyebrows about it. No coins, no blockchain, nada. In reality, the police eventually reveal one coin limited was actually a multi-level marketing network, which is like an MLM. A previously reported by report, reported by Adfolk, one coin was when it actually mined using computer resources. The award was actually stipulated by the froster. Who programmed the coin to increase from 0.5 to 0.5 to 29 dollars? Uh, so the the most of these coins they actually have no blockchain behind them. They actually are not mineable. They are just you know things designed on paper. And then the the way they program their website to show the value of the coin to grow over time. So they were actually not mining anything. There is no mining pool like I said for uh, earlier that most be cryptocurrency will have a mining pool there was no mining pool and there was no blockchain for this kind this particular one coin even uh tbc actually had a a, a a blockchain but they had no mining pool for it so and the value then is not fluctuating it just keep growing over time so eventually the uh, authorities were able to figure out uh one coin and then she was brought to book so that March 2015, the first time had been allocating coins to member and it actually exists. Authorities say the founder refers to this as fake coins. Some of the website have stream coin scam one coin were taken offline in December 2019. So after 2019, a lot of them, one coin, TBC, they all went uh, uh missing and then they they were gone for for life. And that's that was how other cryptocurrency also came up. You know to exist so you can go to youtube and search about one coin scam and you watch other videos about it so let's go back to the article so uh these are the seven types of cryptocurrency scam so when you come about anything that i've just explained right now you understand that it's actually close to being a scam than being real so you know how to avoid such uh scams so you can come to my website and read this article to understand more on on this on this also there are other related scams which include imposter websites imposter websites will actually clone a similar website let's say an exchange website where you act, you frequently trade your cryptocurrency they will actually clone the website instead of binance.com they can actually use a b double i then nance.com you get so anytime you want to check your your website make sure that you spelled the address correctly make sure that at the top of your browser you actually have uh, HTTPS which is secured and you know uh, so so that this imposter website will not you know actually steal your information or you know steal your money by pretending to be on that website there are also fake mobile apps once a project just released, uh, some some uh, Android developers uh, quickly go ahead and you know create a uh, mobile app for that project. Or act actually, they also exist on Apple Store, so that people that uh, investors are already are already aware of the project can think that the project actually have launched an application. 
so they quickly go and download the application and log in their details and then they end up losing their funds so you should try and avoid such kind of application if the project that you are following haven't announced any application in their official channels make sure to always follow official channels of most projects that you, you tend to invest your money into so that any information they pass you'll be aware of it and you don't you don't just fall for any false information or any fake uh fake uh products that is not of their own also their imposters twitter account most people will go and clone uh fake at account of a legitimate person and you don't they're trying to message investors and give them a different story asking them to send money and you know so that they can they can help you and increase probably your investment or help you in another way and a lot of people actually fall for it so make sure that you always verify that the account that you are talking to or the account that you are receiving information for is actually the right account of the person in charge of the video they are also scanning emails telling you to come and invest in lotteries or crypto lotteries or crypto projects you should try and always avoid this kind of emails any person sending you emails telling you to come and and come and, come and claim one reward or any huge amount that doesn't look reasonable or even any email telling you to come and uh, uh, take some some money way when you don't even participate in that kind of event you should already know that that kind of email is is 100% scam so you should try to avoid such email so in order not to waste my time on this video and you know not to also waste your time so I think I've come to the end of this uh, article and this uh, this uh, material so i like you to go to my uh, blog and, and read more on this article to, for proper understanding and i hope to see you in another video subscribe and like my video so that i can keep sending you more videos and you can actually have more understanding of the crypto space i'll see you next time